Hello everybody, welcome to our boss guide for the Duke's Dear Freya in Dark Souls 2. I'm Ryan Telgenik with GamesGenerator.com. And I'm Lorenzo Valoria. Alright Lorenzo, this is the third great, um, great soul that I got in the game when I was playing through. And it's a giant spider, the Duke's Dear Freya. Now, the <laughs> thing is with this boss, his attacks are so easy to dodge. Uh -huh. The problem is, I don't, and I... I just had a fucking hard time with him, uh -huh. and I shouldn't have because I knew his attack patterns and they're super simple. Um, but anyways, let's get into the fight. So when you first come in, he's going to have a lot of little spider guys with him. Mm -hmm. um, what I recommend doing, ignore the boss for, at first. Take these things out because I promise they'll come back to screw you later. Mm -hmm. uh, there were a lot of times where I was doing really good and I had just been ignoring the spiders and then I got killed by them or they caught me off guard and then I got comboed by the boss. And did you notice that they respawn at all? Or, they do uh, respawn, yes, okay. but they respawn very slowly, and so they're manageable. Like, I can uh, I can one-shot them because of my weapon. I'm, at this point in the game, I'm, I think I'm, my great club's at a plus seven, so it's just, I'm doing like 500 damage for a normal swing. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, just kill all the little spider guys, uh, because they're just going to keep jump attacking like that, and it's really annoying. And once you, ha or at least knock a few of them out, you don't have to kill all of them, and they will keep coming back. I was trying to take them out as they would respawn. Now, one thing that really discouraged me about this boss at first was I could not figure out how to damage him. And I assumed that uh, it, it is exactly the easy trick you thought. Hit him in one of his two faces. Yeah, hit him in the face. But the thing was, I thought I was doing that, and my, because uh, if you attack him anywhere else, your weapon just bounces off, like uh -huh. he's heavily armored, just like it, just like your weapon would react if you hit a stone wall. Yeah, so you can't you can't pick him off by hitting his legs. Nope. That sucks. Um, now, the thing was, I thought I was hitting him in the face and my weapon was bouncing off. That's because you have to do it straight on. Like, you can't do it slightly from the side. Maybe you can and you'll get lucky with a shot. But uh, really, you kind of have to get right in front of one of his faces. Right, because he, he has those little legs guarding the sides of his face. So yeah. uh, you have to get that straight on attack. Um, now, in terms of the boss's attacks, he's really only got three that I just I found. The leap that he just did, usually he'll do that if you've been putting a lot of damage on him, and he, uh, no, he's got a, four, a fourth, because he also shoots that web stuff. Mm -hmm. I never got hit by it, I assume it slows you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but he's got that leap attack to put some distance in between himself. Uh, he's got one where if you're up in his business, he's going to try and crush you with his legs. Uh, he's got two different leg attacks. One, he'll just use his primary two front legs if you're right in front of him. He's got another where he starts slamming all of his legs down, so just kind of be careful and stay, steer clear. Um, and then he's got the one that he uses most frequently, the attack you want him to use, the laser beam attack. Mm -hmm. uh, and you'll see him use that plenty of times here. Now, as soon as he's using his laser beam, directly run right through his legs, alongside his body, to his other face, and hit it. Because then you're going to have a good amount of time to put some damage in. So it looks like as you're waiting for that, that long laser beam attack, you're just going around killing all the spiders. So it, exactly. it seems like that's a good time to go in there and just uh, just clear out a little bit <laughs> of those guys. And Yeah. Now you can also, around. if he's doing his uh, attack where he's just using his front legs to try and crush you, after he's using that, uh, you're pretty safe to hit him once or twice too in the face, in that face, instead of having to run around the opposite side of his body. Uh, you can see there I did manage to get a side attack in on the face really tough to do half the time my weapon would bounce off and it wouldn't I would just not do any damage to him um, but also yeah so there's the laser I'm not doing it here because I was a little worried about that spider <laughs> and <laughs> the uh, one little spider I on know. the side dude I'm telling you you start ignoring those things you're gonna have a rough time of it um, but after you put enough damage on one of his faces it disappears this got me killed one time because <laughs> he had one hit left and so I, and he was doing his laser beam, right? And I uh -huh. ran around to his backside to try and hit his other face. And I slammed my club down. And as soon as I did this, I noticed, oh shit, there's no face here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so do be very careful. Um, but really the pattern is the same. Like no matter what attack he's using, just run down alongside of his body while one of his head is, heads is doing it. And then just beat up the other one. Now, as I've, as I said, once one of the faces disappears, you only got one left to attack, but by that point, he's really close to dead anyways. Do you have any uh, special weapon or armor recommendations for this guy? Uh, rings or anything like that? Um, you know, I've been using pretty much the same rings so far. I'm about 30 hours in by this point in the game. Uh, I'm just using the ring that increases the souls you get, because that's, 
actually really nice to have on bosses especially. I'm using Ring of Blades that you get from beating the Pursuer because of the damage increase. And uh, the one ring that, I've, and the uh, the Ring of Binding, the hollow ring that uh, increases the amount of HP you have while in hollow form. And the ring I think is probably the second most important aside from the hollow ring is the uh, one that increases your stamina regen. Um, and that's kind of it really. Uh, you can find a plus one stamina regen ring in that super misty forest with the invisible enemies. There's a chest up there that has it. Um, I would definitely recommend getting that, especially by this point in the game, you're starting to get a pretty healthy amount of stamina um, from your endurance stats. So, yeah, I would just say grab that if you can. That'll really that really helped me out specifically with this fight. Um, I, again, I don't know if you can summon anybody to help you with it. I looked. I didn't find them immediately around the fog gate. Um, I'm assuming I probably just walked by it. But uh, yeah, once he's down, then you'll find the soul kind of over on the edge of the <laughs> cliff in the room. Be sure not to, uh, the great soul, I mean, be sure not to accidentally fall off <laughs> <laughs> and lose the 99,000 souls I have. Oh, right wow. Now. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll do it for the, um, the Duke's Dear Freya. Please, if you like the boss video, subscribe to our channel and check us out at gamesradar.com.